Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Flash Ultimate figure set from the Spin Master line for the upcoming Flash movie. So we have five figures here. We have Supergirl, we have two versions of the Flash, we have Batman and General Zod, and then a host of accessories over here. Now it says there's an exclusive figure. I'm not 100% sure which one the exclusive figure is, but I'm inclined to believe that it's the second version of the Flash because I've seen pictures of Supergirl in separate carded packaging by herself. I know that uh, Flash and Batman are in a two-pack with the Batwing. I would assume they're also getting single-carded figures. And then to me, out of the last two, it would just kind of make sense that General Zod is probably getting a separate carded figure if he's the main villain from the movie. So I'm guessing this is the exclusive figure, but I don't know that because it doesn't really say anywhere on this packaging what the exclusive figure is it just says exclusive figure now the other thing to note here is that this is a super tiny box this is much smaller than i was expecting and just for a little size comparison here is a current spin master batman it's honestly not much taller than he is so i guess spin master is getting into the plastic free packaging game much like hasbro uh, because these are literally just wrapped inside here and there's no excitement or <laughs> razzmatazz they're not like in a you know plastic bubble staged fighting each other or you know looking impressive in the plastic bubble they are just wrapped up like mummies in this tiny little packaging here so interesting not a big deal not a problem or anything just find it interesting that they're finally going in that direction so i'm gonna go ahead get everyone unwrapped here and then we're gonna take a closer look here are the five figures out of the packaging we will start here in the center with the flash it's a nice looking figure. I will say that even all five of these just feel thinner, maybe a little lankier than I'm used to. Uh, I noticed this a little bit with some of the characters with the Black Adam wave as well. The characters are just maybe, they're not smaller because they're the same size as they have always been, but they feel smaller. They're a little thinner, a little bit lankier. And just to demonstrate what I mean, here is a like current um normal batman comic line you can see that they're the same height still but he just seems so much more substantial and solid and like i feel like the joints are more solid because they're not so thin so sometimes i do get a little nervous with some of these joints nothing nothing knock on wood has been a problem so far but they do feel thinner and that worries me to some degree but for the most part i think these are pretty good looking figures i really do think they did a nice job with the head I feel like the eyes are actually painted pretty nicely. The face detail is nicely molded. You got the lightning bolts here on the side of the head. Really nice lightning detail throughout the chest here. You have the gold belt that goes around. You have a little bit of gold here on the forearms. Really nice gold boots down here. So paint applications are pretty much on point. Now articulation wise, the head can kind of tilt side to side. But it's so minuscule. And I don't know what it is about the heads on these figures. I've noticed it on... Pretty much all the figures I've gotten from Spin Master over the years. The heads don't really want to move side to side all that much. So I don't usually bother with it. And even when you can move them, they don't move all that much. And I've always been kind of nervous that one day one of those heads are just going to snap off in my hand. So I just kind of leave them alone. But they look good. So we have a hinge here for the shoulder. No problem there. And then of course you can rotate this around. You have a hinge and a rotation at the elbow as well. The forearm and hand are all one solid piece, so no wrist articulation. There's nothing in the waist. But we're back to ball joints for the hips. I'm very appreciative of this. I did not like the way the hips were handled with the Black Adam line. I thought it was weird to have done ball joints for so long and then randomly changed that, but they changed right back out of it. I guess it wasn't well received. So you can kick forward, kick out to the side. Just a nice fluent range of motion there with the ball joint. You don't have to like turn the hip to the side and then kick forward. That was such a mess. You have a thigh swivel. You have a hinge and a rotation at the knee, very similar to the elbow. And then from the knee down is one solid piece, nothing in the ankle. But those gold boots do look pretty nice. So overall, I think it's a really nice figure. Now, you do get some accessories for the Flash here. I'm not 100% sure which ones are supposed to be his. But you get two sets of these lightning pieces. And I'll show you how these work. So one set looks like this and they clip around the ankle so that it looks like, you know, he's he's running lightning, which is pretty cool. And then they also have a vertical set. So whatever you prefer, I don't think it really matters. Obviously, we have two flash figures in this set, but I don't think it matters. I think you could use them on either. 
These are pretty tight though, I have to admit. Let's see about these, maybe these are a little better. I'm a little worried about scraping off the gold paint, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, that's not too bad. And then we'll do this one over here, not that one. Uh, this one, there we go. And that's kind of a cool effect. So, you know, you can kind of look like he's trailing lightning as he's running, I think that's kind of neat. So I'll just go ahead and leave that on. Also, it kind of works as additional heels if you're having trouble with him falling over. So you got that going for you there. Uh, next up, let's take a look at Supergirl. So this is a really cool suit design. I like this a lot. It's simplistic, but I really like it. Uh, the head's, you know, not bad. I think the hair looks a little weird because they kind of went for like a two-tone effect. So that's a little off. But I think the face looks nice. The eyes are painted okay. I really like the Superman symbol here. You have kind of the red on the top section of the costume here, and then all the rest is blue. So obviously this was molded in blue with a little bit of paint. Now as a result, because they had to put red on top of blue, they had to use kind of a darker red. And so it's a little different. I also think that just helps the Superman symbol uh, stand out a little bit because that's a different shade of red. So all in all, I think it works. You can also see she's got this uh, bit painted here on the hand, which I think is nice. I guess actually this is probably all molded in blue and then they painted the uh, skin tone on top of the blue. At least that's my guess. Well, the more I look at it actually, it looks like maybe the hand was done in a different colored plastic and then connected to the blue forearm and then they painted the blue on top of that. That's my guess with that. But in any case, it's a solid figure. I think she looks good. Um, pretty much all the same articulation so she's got everything the same i'm just trying to notice if anything is different now i'd say this is all the same articulation let's see how does she her head moves side to side a little bit better than flashes does she's got a cape a very thin cape but it's actually made of cloth uh if we take a look let's bring that batman back in his is kind of that nylon material that you know when it gets scrunched up it retains the scrunched up <laughs> You can see as this one is quite bent. So I don't like that nylon material as much. I think the cloth is nicer. And this is definitely a softer cloth material. So very cool. I think she looks great. Now as far as the accessories that are hers, you get some laser vision. This just clips over the head like so. You just have to line this up to so make sure that it stays on her head. There we go. So it looks like she's shooting laser eyes so that's a pretty cool accessory i do like this one we've seen a similar accessory in the normal dc comic line that spin master does and it's very difficult to get this on and off this one's actually very simple and it it's not too tight to the head so that i mean it does fall down a little bit which is a little annoying but i do appreciate the fact that it's not on here so tight that i don't think it's going to cause any paint to rub off or anything so i do appreciate that and then she also comes with a little bit of kryptonite. Now, to be fair, I don't know if this necessarily goes with her or General Zod, but I guess technically it can be used for either of them. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, it's a nice little figure. I think she looks good. I really like the cape, and I think the costume looks pretty great. So we will stand her up. Next up, we got to check out Batman. Really excited for Michael Keaton's return in this movie. Uh, the 89 Batman was definitely the Batman that I grew up with as a kid. And so Michael Keaton has been my favorite Batman for some time. And I'm really excited that he's coming back. And I think this figure looks good. You got the bat symbol here. The head, I think, looks pretty nice. I think the eyes are detailed in there, but it's very difficult to see. But overall, I think he looks good there. He's got pretty much all the same articulation as the rest. Although I will say that his figure feels a little bit more substantial. Not quite as thin as the Flash mold. But yeah, he's got all the same articulation. But he can kick a little bit further out to the side. I feel like his hip ball joints are better. So I haven't... I have to go back and watch the trailer again. I don't know if they just skipped out on the paint app for the belt. Or if his belt is just the same color as his suit in this movie. I'm assuming it's the latter. I feel like they would have painted it if it was meant to be, you know, yellow or gold. But either way, I think this guy looks great. He comes with two very cool accessories. So he's got 
an old school 89 grapple gun. I think they did a really great job. It doesn't look like exactly the same, but it looks really, really close. I think they did a really nice job with that. And he can just hold this in his hand. So you just pop this right in very simply. And then he also comes with a little batarang. Very simple, but that can just go in his hand as well. Well, I promise I can. He's not really in a holding. There we go. So yeah, he looks good. I like this one a lot. Really excited for this. He also has a cloth cape. It has the bat patterning there. I love that. That has a term that I don't remember what it's called. Like scapula or something. I don't, I don't know. I'm making stuff up. In any case, Batman looks great. Let's move on to our alternate Flash. <laughs> now, I'm assuming, again, from the trailer... We see that there are two versions of Barry in this movie. There's kind of like the future Barry, who I'm assuming is the one that screws up the timeline. And then there's like a younger version of himself who he kind of takes around and has to explain everything to. If we take a close-up look at this figure, you can see that it is a flash suit seemingly made out of a Batman suit. If you look at the, the you know boots down here, Certainly, you can see where the bat symbol would be. He's even kind of got ears. <laughs> so, I feel like, and this is pure conjecture on my part, I feel like they're in the bat cave. He's explaining everything that's going on. Second Barry wants to help, but he hasn't been doing this as long or even hasn't started being the Flash yet. And so he doesn't have a suit. And so what they do is they take a Batman suit and alter it slightly to be a flash suit for him. That's my guess. Again, pure conjecture. But judging by this figure, that's kind of what I'm assuming is going to happen in the movie. Because this is definitely made out of a Batman suit. Now, I don't think this is Spin Master just doing this. Because that doesn't make any sense. They have a Batman. They have a Flash. The fact that this is a combination of the two has to be intentional. But it's a very interesting design. Again, I think the head looks pretty good. The eyes are nicely detailed there. The head, this head can actually move decently side to side, which I'm surprised about. Otherwise, all the articulation is the same. The shoulders, the elbows, the hips, the thighs swivel, the knees, all the same as the others. And then we can use those other two, like, lightning effects here. I'll try to clip these on. These are, I don't know why these ones are so tight. I'm wondering if the other ones, because the other ones are a little looser, and that might be because these boots are thicker. So I don't know. I can't get these on. These are really tight. I couldn't get these on either one of these. So maybe some warm water or a hairdryer or something to open them up a little bit. But I just think this is really interesting. So this is definitely a flash suit made out of an extra Batman suit. So I'm wondering if that's like a big plot point in the movie. And if so, very cool. And they did a great job recreating it here. I think that's really, really neat. We'll have to wait and see when we see the movie how that's going to look. Let's see if I can get him to stand again. Come on. Come on, Bat Barry. Bat Flash. This is just Red Death, right? Isn't that basically what this is? Bat Flash? Come on. Stand up. I swear I had no problem with him staying. There we go. I guess his leg was just a little twisted. And then the last figure in our five pack is General Zod. He looks pretty cool. He's definitely rocking his soul patch there. And his $5 haircut. His head can actually move side to side fairly decently. He does have these giant uh, shoulder pads though, which do really hinder his shoulder movement. As you can see, front to back, out to the side. Very hindered there. But he does have the same elbow as everybody else and the same hips and thighs. So basically all the same articulation as everybody. But just a lot of really nice molded detail in this armor. Even like molded texture here you can see like underneath. That's all pretty cool. Just all in all it's a pretty good looking figure. Head sculpt I feel like is fine. So yeah pretty cool General Zod here. Now he comes with this like you know metal metal pole here into some piece of concrete something you'd, you'd feel like the hulk would come with but we can go ahead 
and have him hold that if you'd like. Or he comes with this rather large weapon, which also has some really nice molded detail there. And this can just clip into his hand. Come along now. There we go. I feel like this is like Starship Troopers right now <laughs> with this gun. But yeah, he's cool. I like him. I think he's pretty good. So there are our five figures. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with them. I do think they're a little on the lanky side. But like I said, for some of them, I think it makes sense. Certainly, the Flash is going to be one of the lankier superheroes, especially when up against Batman or Superman or some of the you know more bulky characters. Uh, General Zod on the bulkier side. Batman's kind of a nice in-between so they're good figures, though. I think they're solid. I think the paint applications look good. The articulation's nice. The accessories are, for the most part, pretty good. Uh, definitely had some trouble getting the second set of lightning pieces to clip onto the ankles of either Flash because they're very tight. So I'm I'm hoping that maybe with a hair dryer I can loosen these up or something because this is like a solid chunk of plastic here and I can't really clip that on to anybody but i do think the rest of the accessories are pretty good and i think this whole five pack was 40 dollars, and i found it on amazon uh I, I got a notification today that this was up in stock on amazon i ordered it and they said okay it'll be at your house by five same day delivery i said wow really okay let's do it so <laughs> here we are uh i really can't believe that i got this this fast it was actually pretty cool but i feel like $40 for the set makes them about $8 a piece, which is pretty much what they retail for. You get all of their accessories, so you're not missing out on anything, as opposed to buying the figure separately. Um, plus, you apparently, I'm, like, I'm assuming this other Bat Flash, whatever we want to call this guy, is um, exclusive. I'm, I'm assuming he's the one that's exclusive to this box. And he's a pretty fun little figure, like I said. If that's really how it goes down in the movie, I think that's going to be pretty funny. And I'm really glad I have a character representation of it here with this figure. So, yeah, I think it's a great little set. $8 a piece, I think, is really fair for, you know, what these figures do and for the accessories they come with, the paint applications, the articulation. I think this is a great set. If you can find it on Amazon, I definitely recommend checking it out. And I believe there's, like I said, for the rest of this line, I believe that there is a Batman and Flash pack in with a bat wing and i believe there are some going to be some standalone figures and i know there's going to be um is there no actually maybe i don't know about that okay so i know about the single figures and i know about the bat wing i think that's all i know about for some reason i thought there was another vehicle or playset, and now it's escaping me so if you know please let me know in the comments but i feel like this line is going to be rather truncated kind of like the way the black adam was the black adam was the uh black adam and hawkman with the like hawk jet vehicle which is very similar to the batwing pack they're doing for this and then you had your single carded figures and then there was like another uh what was the foot soldiers from uh intergang there was that set that i think was a walmart exclusive so Probably not going to be too much else for this line. I feel like these are probably the figures we're going to get, plus the one vehicle, maybe one other thing. But it's a good set. I think they're good figures. I think they're pretty uh, nice for the price. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely pick this up if you can. My recommendation. I think they're a solid little set of figures here. So again, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always... Thank you so much for watching.